Hey, Fred Minnick here, and I am so excited for you to see the top 25 bourbons, best everyday bourbons around $40 as voted on by you, the public. Over the years of reviewing whiskey, a career that I've had, I'm so honored to have been doing this for 16 years, I have noticed uh, one commonality when I review allocated bourbons or hard to find bourbons. And that is people instantly get, you know, they don't get upset, but they are like, man, that's nice that you reviewed that, but I can't buy it. And I get it because I buy the majority of the bourbon that I have in my home. And there's times that I want a product that is not on the shelves and turns out they end up being allocated. That is the story for most bourbon consumers. It's hard to get allocated products, but I've always contended you do not have to spend a lot of money to find a great bourbon. But the question becomes, what is an everyday bourbon? So I put this poll out on Twitter uh, as well as YouTube and just kind of talking to people and the consensus was that the best spot for an everyday bourbon is $40 from a price perspective. So around $40 needs to be in the majority of the United States of America and it can't be allocated. So if you walk into a store, you need to be able to find that bourbon uh, on the shelf. Now, there are going to be stores that don't carry the bourbon. Obviously, that's not, you know, stores are going to choose what they put on their shelves. But if you walk into the majority of the stores, hopefully you will be able to find this product. So what my team and I did, we went on Total Wines website, which is a really great resource for separating uh, products based on price. They have a lot of good price mechanisms on their website. And we put together a list of bourbons that were around $40. Now, we would also check to make sure that those bourbons were in the majority of the United States of America. Now, there was a couple products that was in like 24, 25. I decided to let them kind of uh, roll through, but some like New Riff, which is available in Kentucky, it was only in 16 states, so it wasn't quite ready uh, to make this list, but they had a lot of write-in votes for the, the vote. Uh, from the public. So a lot of new Riff fans out there, when you see this list, I'm sorry, but you're going to be disappointed because they're just not in enough markets. Uh, from there, we, we compiled the list, we put it out to the public to vote. There was only one mandate for the voting procedure, and that was to enter your email. And that was really to make sure that nobody you know, repeatedly voted. It was also a way that I could tell uh, that distillers didn't get the link and then share it with, you know, their corporate headquarters or whatever. And so you would see like a lot of the same uh, email type. So wanted to make sure that we could prevent any of that. Now, is this voting, was a scientific? Absolutely not. But we did get 5,200 and some change. That's a lot of votes. Now, this was only through my audience. Uh, it got shared in a lot of places, don't get me wrong, but these would be considered like hardcore bourbon consumers. I got the top 25 right here, and I'm, going, I'm about to jump into this, but I want to tell you on March 18th at 7 p.m., I'm going to do a live stream tasting of the top 10 from this list. And the only way that you can find out about this in advance um, is to click subscribe and hit the reminder so you can get alerted to when these when I'm tasting it live. So if you're not a subscriber, you're going to have to have the link ready to go. I will have the link in the description. I will have the link in the comment section. If you don't want to subscribe, I understand, but that is how you will be able to watch it live. Now that will be happening March 18th at 7 p.m. I will be doing a blind tasting of the top 10. And here we go on the top 25. Coming in at number 25, definitely national all across the country, Bullet Bourbon at 90 proof. You can find that for around $32 in most markets. 
at number 24. Now, this is a bourbon uh, that is not in 26 markets, but it's right there knocking on the door at 25. This is Woodenville, 90 proof Washington straight bourbon, around 40 bucks in most markets. And uh, that's a big win too for the craft distillers because Woodenville is just going to show you that it's competing with the big boys. At number 23, one of my personal favorites, Old Tub Bottled and Bond from the House of Jim Beam, 100 proof, and that one's around 18, 20 bucks. I mean, that's incredible value. I was a little surprised I didn't uh, do better in the voting uh, because it's out there, it's available, but I think it's got a bad rep in some circles. So it's sitting there only at 23. From Willet, Rowan's Creek, 100.1 100, 100 proof and $37.99. This is the only product from Willet to make the list. And I actually said this is an incredible value for Southern Living not too long ago. I think it's a fantastic find uh, for around 40 bucks. Uh, at number 21, you've seen it all over the place. You've seen their billboards. Maker's Mark, 90 proof, around $28.99. Yeah, Maker's Mark is the bourbon that pretty much everybody has in their house just because, well, it's easy to find. Everybody knows it, and uh, it definitely needs to be on this list. I'm glad to see people voted for it. And it cracked the top 25, and at 21, probably not a bad spot for it. Number 20, a shocker for me. I figured this would for sure, this would for sure make the top 10. Uh, bullet 10 year at around 40 bucks. A big shocker that that one did not make the top 10. Uh, I find that one to be a, a, a stellar uh, kind of hidden, hidden gem in the bourbon world. At number 19, Evan Williams single barrel. Oof. At 19, man. What's up ahead of this if that's at 19? Evan Williams Single Barrel, that's an incredible, probably probably the best bourbon uh, in the 80 proof range. Yeah, that's a shocker. At number 18, Larceny, uh, just regular old Larceny at $24.99. Now, the pr two, previous two, uh, Larceny and Evan Williams, both come from Heaven Hill. Now we uh, make a move to uh, the brands from Brown Foreman. Looks like coming in at number 17, Cooper's Craft Reserve at 100 proof. Cooper's Craft Reserve at 100 proof, about 32 bucks. That's a pretty good one there. At number 16, another Jim Beam product, Old Granddad Bonded, 100 proof, 24, 25 bucks. Yeah, that's 16, Old Granddad Bonded. 15, Going on that uh, conversation about around 40 bucks, this one is $41.99. I felt that a couple dollars uh, was, was close enough to, uh, to the $40 limit that we would let it in. But uh, at 15, Michter's US1 small batch. So Michter's makes the list at 15. At number 14, you can find this on Delta Plains. You can find it all over the world. Woodford Reserve. You know, straight bourbon whiskey, $38.49 in, in total wine in Kentucky. Uh, similar prices around the country. Coming in at 14 now I bet you there's a lot of Woodford fans that are going to be disappointed uh, because they do have legions of fans. At 13 17 dollars small batch, $32.99. Coming in at 13 17 dollars at $32.99. At number 12... Early Times Bottled and Bond at $24.99. Now, here's the thing about Early Times Bottled and Bond. They were recently acquired um, and by Sazerac, and um, the, they got their reputation based on Brown Foreman whiskey. So we'll see if that one continues to be on the list. If we look at this, like, say, a year later, will it still be there? At number 11, Makers 46. Makers 46 comes out, um, you know, more than a decade ago, and it becomes the, it becomes like a nice, uh, you know, cocktail maker, especially for Manhattans, but a lot of people like to sip it neat as well. I'm a, I'm a fan of Makers 46. It's in a lot of my private tastings. But now we are jumping into the top 10. Once again, I will take the top 10 here and do a blind tasting with them. 
And that's going to be on March 18th at 7 p.m. You can find the links in the, in the description as well as the comment section uh, for the top 10 blind tasting for the best everyday uh, bourbon. But at number 10, Maker's Mark Cash Strength. Now that was one I had to double check to make sure it was not allocated. It was not, and it was in the majority of the U.S. market. So yeah, we were good to go there. Number nine, Evan Williams Bottle to Bond. Now this one, we do that blind tasting. This won uh, my best every day a couple years ago. So I would say that one's got a really good chance of winning it for my palate. At number eight, Old Forester 100 Proof. Solid, absolutely solid. And the best part about that, you know, 20 bucks, 23 bucks, depending on your market. Number seven, Old Granddad 114. Folks love them some Old Granddad 114. That is some good whiskey and you don't have to break, uh, break the bank to buy it. At number six, Four Roses Small Batch. Now that's the 90 proof one. The 80 proof one was on the list to be voted on. The single barrel was not because it is over that price mark uh, in most markets. But uh, Four Roses Small Batch is coming in at number, number six for the popular vote at $34.99. At number five, Elijah Craig Small Batch, 94 proof, around 30 bucks. Again, this is the popular vote as voted on by you. This is not my list. I compiled a list, you all voted on it, and you have Elijah Craig at number five. At number four, I'm always talking about this one. Uh, I did a video about it like, you know, most $200 bourbons are not as good as this one. And that is Knob Creek, nine-year-old. It's just coming in under 40 bucks. And look, I think that this one is just an absolute delicious everyday bourbon to have. Mm, I really do. At number three, Buffalo Trace at $27.99. And it's going to be different in some markets, but it's definitely under $40. I checked with Buffalo Trace, and it's, a, it's the most available of their, of their lines that they have out there. And, and most people feel like they can get it. Most people think that they can get Buffalo Trace. I previously had um, Eagle Rare in the voting and Weller in the voting. I took those out because in confirmations, they were definitely allocated. Now, I had thought they were allocated in a couple markets, but when I go to Texas, I just see Weller everywhere. It's weird. It's really weird where these products go allocated, but I found out the majority, in majority of the states, Weller and Eagle Rare were allocated, so I took them off the list. Also, Angel's Envy got taken off the list. At number two, Wild Turkey 101. Wild Turkey 101. And I know there's a lot of fan favorites out there for Wild Turkey, but it is hard to beat that value. That value for Wild Turkey uh, is, is just so spot on. I, I do think they have a bit of a branding issue dating back to when they used to literally flip people off in bars and try to tie themselves to biker bars. And so a lot of people won't, won't connect with Wild Turkey because its, uh, it's stigma is the bad boy, the leather jacket biker bar guy. And, and you know, that's unfortunate because they're missing out on an incredible product, uh, you know, that's definitely you know, punching far above its SRP. Uh, and then at number one, from the same house as Wild Turkey 101, and beating its uh, sister product by a mere like uh, 79 votes, uh, it beat Wild Turkey 101 by 79 votes. Russell's Reserve 10-year-old, 90 proof. You're getting that all day long for around 40 bucks across the country. That is an incredible, incredible uh, value. So that is your top 25. I will be tasting the top 10 on March 18th at 7 p.m. So make sure you are tuning in for that. And the best way to do that is you click subscribe and hit the reminder so you get the live stream alerts. Um, and I'll also place a link in the comment section and in the, in the description so you don't miss it. But there were some, some products that got a lot of uh, write-in votes. Uh, Yellowstone uh, had a lot of write-in votes. I put that into the vote uh, as well. It did not make the top 25. Uh, Rebel 100 
Got a lot of write-in votes, but not enough to crack the top 25. Uh, JTS Brown and JW Dant are essentially so close to Evan Williams bottle and bond. Uh, I made the decision not to enter them uh, in this. And I also um, have been told they are not in as many markets. So you've got to, I had to go with like, I had to make the, some decisions here and there. But for the most part, uh, what was voted on in here is 99.6% of what is available across the country uh, around 40 bucks. Now, what was the least vote getter? Uh, a brand that you find in a jug of uh, like it looks like it looks like a it looks like a uh, a gasoline can called uh, Stillhouse. Stillhouse had like four votes, I think. The next closest one was uh, was Big House Bourbon, um, and but for the most part, every every brand had good representation here. You know, everyone got most people got like one two percent of the vote. Uh, but you could definitely see where my audience goes. My audience goes toward bang for your buck whiskeys that myself and other YouTubers and critics have been talking about for a long time. So it's good to see the uh, diversity in this list. Definitely not dominated by one or two distilleries. It is um, it's sprinkled with a little bit of everything. But if you feel like there's a snub, I want to know what is your top 25 and please go buy that top 10 and make sure you taste alongside with me. You, and you may not know, you may not do it blind like I am, but uh, make sure that you taste alongside with me on March 18th to help me to, you determine what your number one is out of that top 10 and I'll determine what my number one is. But remember, all of this is about learning for yourself and picking out things that you like and not necessarily listening to one or two people. Taste for yourself, that's my motto. Be safe out there, folks, and remember, remember, take care of one another, especially now. We need it more than ever. Be nice. Cheers.